Okay, so, so far with my layers, I've added in some text here. That's on a layer here. I've got the Eiffel Tower that I copied and pasted from another photograph, and you can see that's on its own layer. And you can see I've got this background image. I can change the name of any of these as well. So that one says background. It's actually got a lock next to it, meaning I can't actually change certain things. I'm going to double click where it says background. And when I do, it comes up with layer zero. It's actually going to change it from a background to a layer, but that doesn't matter. It actually allows us to do other things. I'm going to change that to say Fitzroy Square, which is where this photograph was taken. And you can see it's changed it here. So if you want to change any of this, like the names, you just simply double click on that part. If I was to double click actually on the little icon here, you'll see it actually brings up layer options. It says layer style here. So this allows me to do things, blending options, drop shadows, glows, inner shadows, and so on. But that's for another tutorial. So I'm just going to click on cancel. I want to, and I'm just clicking on this Paris in London layer, I want to put in a shape behind this over here. So what I'm going to do is add another layer. I'm going to go layer, new, and new layer. You can do shift command N, or if you're using a PC, you can do shift control N will give you a new layer. And I'm going to call this one block caption because this is going to go behind that text. I'm not going to add in any color or anything. Let's click on OK. Down the side here, this is where I've got my toolbox. I am going to choose from my shapes here. If I click and hold for a moment, it brings up the various shapes I've got, such as a rectangle tool, which can do squares, ellipse, which does ellipses and circles. There's others, the polygon tool line, and so on, the different tutorials, again, that I'm busy creating, and you'll see those soon. In fact, by the time you watch this, they may already be there. So I'm choosing the rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag that so it fits around where I've got that Paris in London. When I let go, I had this color red selected. I'm going to keep it on that. I could change it, though, by going into the top here, choosing Fill and then changing it to another color, yellow. Not particularly good on this. I'm just going to undo that. So I'm just going to click back on that fill, the toolbar, and so on. Right, so that's actually sitting on top of the text. I can't see the text. I want to change that. So I could do a couple of things here. One, I could change the opacity. So over here in my Layers block, I can click on that and click and drag it to change the opacity but it's still going to affect the color of the text as well. I am going to change the opacity. I could type it in. I could have typed in 50% there. However, all of these layers here are in a particular order. So the one called Fitzroy Square is down the bottom. You've got Eiffel Tower. So they're all sitting on top. Let's just change that opacity back to 100% so you can actually see this. I'm going to move that block caption so that it goes between Paris and the Eiffel Tower. So basically, Paris in London, that text will sit above it. So I'm just going to click and drag that down. I could have moved the text instead, but it just felt easier to do it this way for me. I'm just going to click and drag that down to 50%. As I said, I could have typed that in. I can change that to 30%, just like that. So that's how you can add in a shape. But what if you want to actually draw on here as well, just freehand using, say, the brush tool? Well, I could add another layer. And I like adding in layers because then they don't interfere with something else. So if I change my mind later, I can get rid of that shape. I could draw on this layer as well. But you can have so many layers. Why not separate them all out? So I'm just going to go to Layer here, choose New, and I'm going to choose another layer. And I'm going to call this one freehand, just to demonstrate what you can do with that. And down the side here, I'm just going to choose my brush tool. Now for this, you can do this with a mouse and with the trackpad. But one of the things I found is the more I use Photoshop, I invested in one of these tablets with a pen, not an iPad or any of the Android type things, but a Wacom tablet 
which is used by many people who use Photoshop and so on. So it's actually connected to the uh, computer here. So I could do something here. I could, it's already got my name. It's actually, I want to undo that because it's drawn a dot in there that I didn't want. I've got a color selected down here. You can see my color selection. And I'm just going to write in over here. I'm just going to write Paris in London. OK, that's my scrappy handwriting. And as you can see, I can just simply write in it. If I don't like it, I can switch it off if I choose the right one. Pick the wrong one. There you go. There's the freehand. If I don't like it, I can just change it. I could also use the eraser if I just wanted to get rid of part of it just by clicking here and, as you can see, just erasing it a little bit. So that's how you can add in a layer like that as well. And if I don't like it completely, I can click and drag and put it down here to delete it on that trash can. The nice thing about layers is you don't ever really need to delete it. If you're ever in doubt, just turn it off. And that way you can come back to it at any time. So you can create all sorts of different things. In fact, you can have different versions as well. So you might have this in a different color and you might want that as a different layer, but you want to use one for one thing such as the web and another one for print. So you can have all sorts of variations. So that is how you can add a layer where you can put in a shape and also use the brush to draw over that. Don't forget I've got some other tutorials as well on using layers too, such as adding in text, copying from one photo to another, and also the adjustments layers too.